What's up, guys? And hi. Wait, no, up here, up here. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> welcome to another video. Oh, we got a decline. That's a bummer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> got a dungeon. Okay, so yeah, I know what you guys are gonna say. Actually, let me just move my thing down a bit. Uh, I know what you guys are going to say that I haven't been uploading in a while because I have actually legitimately uh, leveled one of each class, or four of each class actually, to um, to max because I wanted to try out uh, all of the covenant abilities without swapping, um, without like, swapping covenants all the way because that's just kind of boring. I think I've said it in my uh, last video that I did going to like, how uh, to level quickly. So I hope you all had a good, um, a good new year. I know I didn't, but, uh, oh, what can you do? I don't want to, uh, talk about it much today. Uh, instead, I want to talk about, um, New Year's resolutions. So, what's something that you guys have, or want to do, uh, better, uh, this year? Like, for one, uh, or for me personally, uh, in regards to YouTube, because um, Preach Gaming has been my WoW idol for uh, so many years, like all the content that, he's, that he used to do, um, really, really good. It really uh, helped improve me as a player. So I wanted to pick up um, or do whatever he was doing. So, like, he would call these TDPs. I'm sure I'll come up with a name for this. But I want to do videos like him since uh, he's off doing other games uh, and whatnot. So I think we're just doing a normal dungeon, just because this guy has not fit the gear. Oh, no, I'm not Spanish that. This is my Kyrian Road, by the way. This is the echoing, echoing rip man or something like that. Oh, I have some gear that he's put on. Just bought some gear, and I bought this um, legendary here. Uh, I I don't know what it means, and that's that's the thing about Covenant Legendaries is that they can be sometimes uh, misleading. So with the uh, abilities in terms of what they actually do, so I wanted to explore that uh, a little bit as we do these videos and as we do um, my Covenant ability ranking video. Yeah, let me just put these pieces of gear on. Uh, is it this one? Faces and Legendary. See, I don't know what this means. Uh, now, Anima charges four combo points. Does it mean it's going to Anima charge the fourth combo point or? If it's going to ammo charge four times, which I doubt is going to be the case. Uh, so what do I think of the Kyrian Rogue? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. The ability is um, a bit weird, uh, and it can be sometimes frustrating to do it, uh, to play around it. So if I use Echo Ripper around here... Oh... Play on. To... Oh, to okay. Okay. So I can see that sort of does um, change up the playstyle a little bit. Um, see, so yeah, what was I saying? Uh, Echoing Rip can be sort of frustrating to use because uh, the idea is is that Echoing Rip and um, does damage. It does a lot of damage, by the way, if it, uh, especially if it crits. Um, and it will anima charge one of your combo points. Now when you use uh, a certain amount of combo points, depending on what your um, Ripperman is, it will deal damage as if seven combo points were used. So I think that's a pretty um, neat idea for the ability. Does it play out? I don't know. I have to play the spec. See how these four? If I use two, oh, I'm going to play the three. Okay, so it does anima charge four times. And that does depend on like what our respect we're playing. I'm playing subtlety. Uh, I love it on subtlety, and I enjoy that. Outlaw, on the other hand, I did not enjoy because you don't get all the cool shit um, until very uh, later on, which I find very frustrating. But whatever, that's the game. Uh, what are we doing? This, is, uh, this also feels very weird um, playing. A non-Venthyr too, because I, 
because my main is a Venthyr, a Venthyr uh, Boomy, I'm used to mind controlling all the bats, whereas I can't really do that here. That's, oh well, does that guy have the, oh, that's, he's got the rare, what is it, the rare one? I don't know. I think another thing I find interesting about Echo Recommend is that it can create benefits from these symbols of death. Um, crit. That's pretty really cool. Uh, whereas the other abilities done, like flagellation, um, bone spikes, red bone spikes, and what's the last one? Sepsis? I think it's Sepsis. Yeah, that, those are all abilities I'm a bit now. I will be releasing a. Um, a video going into detail about all these abilities. Uh, when? I don't know. Which is why I want to get um, some footage so I can uh, do that video. Let's, let's use our shadow plates here. Shadow dots. The playstyle of subtlety is actually very simple. Um, it's just you've got to change up uh, your bars because you've got your own uh, set of bars when you're not in stealth, and then you've got your bars uh, during stealth. Uh, and it would uh, it would help if you put those some abilities as the same on both set of bars. You see, I've got my shadow strike here uh, in stealth, and I've got my backstab there. Whereas, it might be a little bit confusing to put it. Uh, the other way around, because you could be spamming that thing like I normally do, and then uh, just end up pressing something else. Something like that. Hmm. I'm surprised how lucky I got with all like the dungeon queues and such, because they're they're not long, like maybe five minutes max for all of them, and I did. Um, each, I did three dungeons on each level 60, at least three, um, and they're all uh, quite quick queues as well. So if you're looking to do a uh, dungeon quest then definitely do it, because it, uh, as I said in the video it's not uh, an overly waste of time. Oh yeah, these, these are my talents uh, that I'm running. Uh, I haven't really looked at a lot of the rogue talents, but this is which looks good for me. Oh, this is these are my leveling talents anyway. Yeah. Um, that's my soul wand tree. Again, I haven't looked <laughs> much of this. I don't play rogue much, um, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, I want to do um, videos that Preach had has done over the years. So yeah, TVP. We can all <laughs> figure out some sort of name for that. Um, as well as maybe, maybe some PTR footage. I'm not going to do any 9.2 stuff because I know there's already lots of stuff uh, out there. So maybe that's what we will look into in the future. Uh, and I do have lot, um, loads of video ideas uh, lined up that I do want to share. It's just, I think, they could be a little bit uh, time consuming. That's the only problem. Ah, oh, this thing. Oh yeah, this is where that popped up. Shark and Storm. Eviscerate. Shark and Storm. Eviscerate. Shark and Storm. Oh, what? Why did they do that? Shark and Storm. Oh, that's really weird. And I will say, when I make the... Um, the Covenant ability... Uh, ranking video, there are some choices on there uh, that are going to make you feel like, what the fuck, why would you put that there? And that's not, it'll purely not because of uh, how much damage they'll do. It's uh, based off how fun they are. And I'm not going to include um, how fun they are in Torcast. I think that might be uh, its own separate video uh, that I might eventually end up doing uh, at some point. But who knows? I get hit by everything. It's not cool. I must say, it's, it's really cool to see sub rogues get an actual uh, AUE ability. Because before, 
Like rogues, or at least sub rogues, were just Shurken Storm with this way. They would just uh, funnel single target uh, damage onto well, a single target. Uh, which was which was going to be a fay. Um, definitely not as useful in <laughs> Shadowlands because there's a lot of things where you'd want to AoE uh, stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, Shadowlands. Back in Reprimand. So yeah, that's my that's my views resolutions. Have you got any um, views resolutions I like to hear about them in the comments? Uh, I love reading comments. Uh, I do have other stuff too, but they're sort of like real life related. It's funny because it's been what six days since uh, the new year, and I feel like I've achieved a lot. <laughs> the main thing being getting four of each class to max level. Look at that, top of the deeps. Uh, amongst other stuff, but I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, right now. Or right here, even. And because I have uh, four of each class, I'm going to slowly start filling up the, uh, the memory collection. So, or memories here. So I've got all four of the, uh, the rogues one, uh, the rogue memories. I'm slowly filling up every others. Uh, these, I haven't actually gone through all my tunes yet. I know all of my tunes have uh, memories that can be learned. Um, it's just a very good time to go through more. I will have a skip as well, so you could just um, go straight into 9.1 content. That's really cool. I probably should use that kind of card. I could use it now. Did not get knocked. Interesting. And one thing I've sort of realised is that playing your ability while leveling and playing it um, during leveling is uh, significant. So it is significantly different. So you're gonna have um, a bigger. You can have like a, a different uh, opinion on it, especially when you have the legendary and um, conduit. Actually, what's the conduit like? Uh, increased damage. Oh, okay, yes, no, that's spoiler. But yeah, that's uh, the video I've got today. I think we'll pop out more of these um, over the course of the year, and we'll just uh, get footage on these sort of different uh, classes, covenants, spec combinations. Uh, we'll just talk about that a bit. So, thank you. so that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.